Ladies and gentlemen, we gather here in the heart of Monaco to introduce a new world of gaming. The stakes are high, the cards are colored, and the game, it's Uno. Chris, you've had an incredible year when it comes to poker, but is it fair to say this means more? Uh, much more, yeah. You really got to focus on the things that matter in life, and this is one of them. I like to make sure that my family members cry a little after I beat them so badly. Call it a holiday tradition. And how are you with colors? Um, colorblind. <laughs> Wish you the best no. of luck. Tim, you've just woken up, but are you ready for this? No, I'm not. I barely know the rules. I just woke up. You might have an edge on Chris. He's colorblind. He is? That's good to know that Chris is colorblind because I never knew that. And you're playing for one million dollars and you've never played before. You've got some kahunis. It's feral or... I, I <laughs> bloody hope not. How have you not played Uno? How old are you, Tim? 37. 37 years without Uno. What a life you lead. I don't like card games. <laughs> Guys, representing ACR at the Uno Invitational today and one million dollars. I mean, you must believe in your game. Million dollars? What? We're playing for a million dollars here? <laughs> serious? We're doing a bit. Yeah, a million dollars. Yeah, you know, it's like I figure, you know, I may have a minus ROI in the Triton events. You know, for Uno, I'll put it all up. I got a 7% interest rate on the loan, so I really do need to win in the five person field, however big it is. Now, Chris Brewer, I hear, is colorblind. That's got to give you an edge. Yeah, I'm pretty sure from the rules that I just learned a minute ago, color is at least one third of the game. So I think that gives me an edge over him. But these guys are games addicts, you know what I mean? He was waiting, playing chess, while waiting to play Uno, playing poker, throwing grapes in their coffee cups at breakfast. They're like degenerate game players. So it's gonna be battle, but I've been preparing for this for literal minutes. This is Luca Vivaldi, your esteemed tournament director. Uh, Luca, kick the game off. Let's play some Uno. Best of luck, gents. Red three, gents. Team is on you. So, what are the rules? <laughs> <laughs> Skip a turn, Chris. Start off aggressive. Okay, okay, so I can call, call, call. call a color. Yes, correct. Uh, we'll go with uh, blue. Blue or Ryan. Okay, green for green. So you said I can stack them if they're the same. No, they're not the same. <laughs> one is one color, the other one is another color. But you can't stack them like this? No. Only if identical. <laughs> Stop laughing at me. It's early stages and the players are sort of pretending to be confused by the rules, but it's all gameplay. I've seen the amount of studying that goes into this. Uh, Yellow four. Red. Come on, team. Come on. Send me one, Luca. All right, put it back on tab. Ooh. Back to me? Yes, sir. Red? Uno is exhilarating. Blue nine. What the f is blue? Uno. Gentlemen, Ryan has one card remaining. I'm thinking about what color I think he has. <laughs> <laughs> uh, red. Booyah! Oh, yeah. oh, oh, that's so oh, sick. You f***ed us. You f***ed Luke. <laughs> Ryan DePaulo is the newest Triton champion, everybody. Yes, thank you. GG, oh, good game guys, thanks. Did you always believe that would happen? You could do anything if you believe in it enough, you know? And my wife helped me learn the game at breakfast. I gave my all, I'm so grateful. Thank you, thank you guys. Hey, thanks to the wife, thanks to everyone who supports Uno around the world. And now it's time to present the trophy. <laughs> Luca Vivaldi, look at that beauty. Where's that gonna go? Right on the mantle. I don't have a mantle, but on the mantle. And of course, let's not forget, you have won a double deck of Uno cards. Woo! 2019 version. <laughs> we couldn't find the modern ones. Let's go. 